हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आर बी शेयरिंग माई थाट्स ऑन द वीक एंड वॉरियर पैलेट इट्स अ कोलेब्रेशन विथ ऑफ कलर पॉप विथ अमांडा स्टील और यू नो मेकअप बाय मैंडी दैट्स द नेम ऑफ अवर चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल सो इट्स देयर कोलैब एंड दिस इज देयर फर्स्ट एवर प्रेस्ड पाउडर आई शेडो सो दैट इज वाई आई यू नो हैव टू जस्ट पिक इट अप दिस रिटेल्स फॉर एटीन डॉलर्स I believe the collection has three more of their super sharp shock eye shadows and a couple of two or three lipsticks as well. But I just went for this and one more super shock eye shadow. But today we'll just be focusing on uh, this guy right here. So this palette has four eye shadows and it retails for eighteen dollars, which is decent. It's not that bad a price. It has this plum colored sleeve, and once you remove the sleeve. This is the color of the palette. Now, when it comes to packaging, their packaging is a, a cardboard sort of a thing, and it's pretty bulky for you know just having containing four eyeshadows. So uh, that's why I'm not that big a fan of the packaging. It just it does look cute, but then uh, I don't think it's very. I would have preferred if it was a little thinner. Just for four eyeshadows, dragging this guy around is not fun. So. So these are the four eye shadows. One of them is a satin finish, and the other three are matte. The info on the website says that these are four shadows that feel velvety and silky. Yes, they do feel silky. On you know when you swirl your finger around in the palette, if you see the swatches, like we'll start off with the swatches. Total is uh, the first one. That is this uh, light champagne sort of a color, and that's the color that. that's the shade that i have all over my eyelids and uh, it's a nice color you can use it for the inner corner or like i have used all over my eyelids also i'll just i'll be inserting a demo right after the swatches so you can see that as well then uh, it has three uh, matte shades like i mentioned before uh, harley is this a uh, gray toned uh, matte color uh, and uh, it's not bad it's uh, it's nice you can use it in the crease for if you're going for a cool tone sort of a look and uh, most of the, all the eye shadows in fact are the all the three mattes are very cool toned see the swatches of the uh, third and the fourth shade that is burnout and chopper like the green one and the plum shade the problem with that is when you swatch with your finger it swatches a little patchy but then if you see the swatch with the brush it does swatch okay so those are the swatches and i hope they may help you make up your mind you know if you are still interested in this in picking up this palette now if you see i have uh, you know i have a demo for you i have used the shades throttle harley and chopper so i have used a harley in the crease like the light gray shade Matte shade in the crease. Now the outer V of my eye and uh, little, you know, and again on the crease I have used the shade Chopper, which is the dark plum shade. And for my eyelids I've used uh, the shade Throttle. Now when it comes to blendability, I think these shadows blend okay. They are pretty decent. I just have one pet peeve. So when you dip your brush in the pan, there is a lot of product that comes off. So if you don't tap your brush. you will end up applying that then the eye shadow looks very patchy so again like i said depends on you know how you work with this that is one of the only problems that i had while using this like i said at the beginning the palette retails for 18 dollars so uh, each shadow retails for roughly around 4 dollars and 25 cents or something so that's not bad it's like a dollar or so lesser than makeup geek eye shadows of the two i still love makeup geek eye shadows more than color pop but i'm it's their first set of pressed eye shadows you know apart from their super shock pigments and for the last two years they have had this brand and all of the reviews of the eye shadows i've been seeing people crib that you know you cannot use super shock eye shadows in the crease they are not as blendable so then it's it's good that they have come out with pressed eye shadows you know which which can do the job if they start selling these as sing, singles and you know maybe some more fun colors that all of us would like like you know some warmer tones and all that i would surely love to give the, those a try if you ask me if i recommend this palette to you only if you like cool tone colors otherwise you can skip it we can always wait and hope that they will come up with something more the shades justify the name of the palette yeah you can give her that 
because it says weekend warrior all of the colors are nice and dark in this palette and you can always if like me if i have picked up one of her super shop eyeshadows so i can use these in the crease and that shade on the lid and you know make the whole thing work but just the palette especially if you don't like cool tone eyeshadows i don't think i would recommend that but uh, i just hope that you know we have few more shades to play around with so that's all i have to say today about these uh, colourpop pressed eyeshadow i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well i do new videos every week if you haven't watched my previous video it's this one haul of stuff that i bought off sephora so make sure you check that out and follow me on all my social media it's pammy's corner on facebook twitter instagram and snapchat bye thank you for watching